But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music, watching movies, and most of the television programs, they're haram. So how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is after all why they crucified him. Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Uh, I'm sorry I made you wait. Uh, I was in uh, Zamzam water and uh, the water was Zamzaming too much. And the more you Zamzam, uh, the more things get complicated and as you know, things is messed up. So uh, sorry for making you wait. Um, as you see, uh, our... Uh, <coughs> Uh, our title today, my book in Romanian, is ready for download. And actually, this is the purpose of uh, this post. I wasn't even planning to go really. It's just as many people they will know that we are, uh, you know, we have our book in Romania ready, so people they can download it and they can share it with their friends. Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for the person he or she, uh, the ones who did uh, work in the translation. It was really great uh, <clears throat> job as usual. And I hope they will translate more books soon. And if you are a person who volunteer to, and you are from Romania, you like to translate, please let me know, because we have list of books still need to be translated. As you see, this is only one book. This is value number one of uh, six and Allah. Is it translated? Nothing more, nothing less. So we still have a long list of uh, of books to be translated. Um, let me see here. <clears throat> yeah, you know, and if you uh, maybe you are not a person who speak Romanian. Maybe you never met someone who speaks Romanian, but you never know. You might meet with someone who speaks Romanian one day, <clears throat> and you can tell him, well, you know what, I have a book for you. So it doesn't hurt if you download. Don't just save the link. The link will not stay, you know. Download the book. You can repost it in your G drive. It's for free. I repost again. And, you know, those who they are really uh, people who care for uh, the truth, uh, they will care to share the truth too, especially we are giving it for free. So what you will lose, right? So I'm expecting first from those who they are from Romania uh, to share the book everywhere, you know, and uh, to their uh, to do their part. You see, I'm doing my part, and there is uh, someone who did his part too to translate the book. Thank you very much. Uh, may the Lord bless this person for the great job. But uh, now Romanian people, they have a duty to post the book everywhere. <laughs> uh, yesterday, we have a Bible study. I don't know how many of you did uh, watch it. Uh, and I hope people, they enjoy it very much. And they learn something good from it. <laughs> and the good thing about our Bible study, uh, that may come post for you the link so you can subscribe 
that there we are you know we are in the relaxed mood we are not there to fight with anyone we are there just to study the bible and which is really good and very very relaxing very uh, you know very nice for me it is a pleasure really uh, to talk about something useful not something useless islam is useless islam is useless you know uh, <clears throat> people they are like they have different level of uh, knowledge understanding education and even intelligence and this is true so when we say like god he created everyone everybody is equal <clears throat> that in the essence or let us say in the structures but human being uh, he either work in himself to be the one who is you know you have to work in yourself or somebody he decide to be the way he is born and uh, he just receive what people say to him blindly You want to translate my book to Hindi? Go ahead. <clears throat> Go ahead, translate all of them to Hindi. It's no problem. You got my blessing, my friend. You know, the issue of I will translate, I heard many, many people saying I will translate, but they, don't, they never did, you know? So many people, they get excited and say, oh, I want to translate. But then when they start, they say it's not really that easy. And then they give up second day, maybe. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, so I'm glad to have the Bible study if you'd like to join us and the other channel is different channel Arab for Christ you can join it and you can learn something now as long as we don't have really a topic and as you see the title is my book in Romanian you know is for free to download click the link there if there is any Muslim anyone have a question <coughs> Islam is useful well, because of Islam, all countries in the world, they have to spend a lot of money for security. You know, number one concern for security is Islam, even in Muslim countries. Actually, in Muslim countries, it's way more big concern than anything else. You know, in Muslim countries where there's a, a minority Christians, the Christians are, they, they are never the concern of any government. Never. Why? because they are peaceful otherwise they can you know they can do way more than muslims islam never never useful i would like to translate your book into pharisee is that okay uh, uh, uh nick maybe you can contact me in patreon i have a book already translated into pharisee maybe you can fix it for us because there is some uh some work need to be done so if you are interested Text me uh, in Patreon. Patreon, you don't have to. You don't have to. Uh, you know, when I say Patreon, people think that you have to donate. No, it's just you know, make a username and then you can send me a message. All right. So if you are interested and you speak Pharisees, at least you can in the beginning start correcting the the first book we have, so we can publish it soon. Um. Anyway. Uh, you know. When when you speak to a Muslim, do we have any Muslim here? Usually they have to protect Christians. It will depend where, where which area, you know. Some areas the Christians do not need protection of anyone. Some areas they are very they are not armed or they are not protecting themselves. Do we have any Muslim here? Any Muhammadan? No? Okay. <clears throat> strange and why why today there is a few a few people online what happened 375 something were fishy 372 this is really fishy maybe the title hmm. maybe anyway uh, i'm not going to keep you long uh when you ask a muslim oh, who is your god he says allah you ask him what Allah mean every one of them he give you different definition there is a, a guy he's uh, supposedly a doctor but obviously he have no idea what he's talking about that's the rest of them he made an article saying that Allah is coming from the word Ilah and uh, it's uh, very similar to the word Elohim 
you know, the, the Muslim, when he tried to, to be smart, trying to explain his religion. Obviously, he is not really even thinking, because if Elohim, if Allah coming from Elohim, <coughs> Elohim is a plural word, and if Allah is coming from Elah, well, that means Allah is not our name. So why you lie to yourself, you say, my God is Allah. Ilah is a word mean God. Ilah. Il. Al. Il. The, the, let, the last letter in the end, this is not even a letter. This is just like a sound. Ilah. So, if Allah is not a name, so why you keep saying, my God is Allah? Because that means that your God is God. <laughs> You know what I mean? They are very naive in their understanding of their own cult. They are not very naive in, in even knowing who is their God. And they are very naive, desperately trying to find an, uh, 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 like a way out for this God. Who is Allah? They don't know. So they try to look around. Oh, there is an Aramaic, there is Ila, and there is, uh, you know, Al. Uh, there is Elohim, uh, there is etc. But they don't know. But all of us, we knew that the Muslims believe that Allah is a name, is not a word mean God. And if so, uh, if Allah is a word mean God, then the Shahada is wrong. Because you should say there is no God but God, which is very silly and stupid. You know what I mean? If the word uh, Allah is a word mean God, that means the, shah the Shahada of the Muslims should be Say it as the following, there is no God but God. Which is very stupid to say, there is no zucchini but zucchini. You know, no tomato but tomato. See how funny it is? And now, you know, I'm sure we have many Muslims here. If you ask any of them, maybe maybe one of them, he will get uh, excited to answer us. What Allah mean? You will see he is going to search Google. And he will not be able to answer us even in 10 years from now. Yeah, you see, uh, uh, very, very, very shallow cult. This, this cult is, is a collection of cults, a collection of uh, fairy tale stories. This is why the Arab in the time of Muhammad, you know, the Muslim, they said to you, do you know that the Arab, they were amazed? And they mentioned to you a person like Ibn Mughira, which he did not, he refused to accept Islam anyway. Uh, they say to you, in the time of the Prophet, the Arab, they were astonished. Astonished with what? With the Quran. So why they are making fun of the Quran? And why they are making fun of Muhammad? Do you know how many times the Quran says that the Arab, they say this is nothing but a bunch of fairy tales for kids? Look how many times. Each one in yellow is a fairy tale. It is what? It is nothing but the fairy tales of the ancient. Stories about witches, stories about genies, stories about flying carpet of Solomon. Solomon, he have a ring, control the genie. This is nothing but a bunch of the Arab. They were laughing badly at Muhammad. And if you read any verse in the Quran, actually, you know, you will see there's a very, I mean, there's nothing there. Like, look at this. Uh, in the name of Allah, this is not in the Quran, the Muslim, they add it. Okay. So did Allah forget to say in the name of Allah? Look like it. We to the mutaffifin. What is that? Those who give less and the measure and the weight. Sound good, you know, but what is that? I mean, you know. Those who, when they have received by measure from men, 
demand full measure. Well, what does that mean? You tell me. And when they have to give you the, by measure or weight to, ma to men, give less than do. Oh, okay. And they think they, they are not, uh, that they will rescue, executed uh, for a uh, rockening, okay. Uh, on the great day. I mean, just tell them, shame on you to do, uh, you know, to cheat. That's it. Cheating is haram. And then we find that Muhammad is the biggest cheater. You know, his wife, she go for five minutes to visit her, her family. She come back home. She found Muhammad having the legs of them of the slave up and he is doing boom boom to her in the bed. So Muhammad is a very conservative person. He don't like people to cheat when they buy and sell, but he don't mind to torture you to know where you hide your money. He don't mind to go to your house, steal your wife from you, flirt with your wife when she is married to you. Uh, but uh, he's very good in not to cheating when you buy from somebody else. If you cheat, you will go to hell, okay? So this Quran is like is useless, meaningless. And if you speak Arabic, actually, this is the funny part of it. You will see how stupid it is. What the heck? And what is that, Muhammad? And you don't know what is Sajjin, huh? Don't you? <laughs> Look at this language. Look at the stupidity. And what will make you know what is Sajjin? <laughs> uh, do you guys know what candies mean? Who knows what candies mean? No one knows what candy means, save Allah. So, uh, you know, uh, this is just a silly, stupid talk, meanless, useless. And there's no connection even between the verses. And there's no reason for the verses anyway, you know. And then, from from the one who cheat in the weight to the one who says suddenly, uh, those fairy tales. What is the connection? And then he repeat the same thing. You will be in heaven, and this heaven paradise, you will be delight. Okay. And uh, you will be uh, the bear witness, those who they are nearest to Allah, i.e. the angels, you will be close to them. And then a brother, you will be uh, sitting on uh, couches and you have uh, uh, pillows. In this translation here is very silly. It's a strange translator, this idiot. I don't know who his translation is. This is Hilarian Khan. I think this guy he was using Google when he translated mostly. Uh, let us see the other idiot, Yusuf Ali. Hmm. Uh, this guy is too. I think maybe they are copying Yusuf Ali because there's no throne there. Araik is not a throne, but a bunch of idiot. Let us change the translation. Yeah. Shakir. Hmm. Let us see. Uh, this guy he makes a throne too. You see, I mean, how stupid it is to say that the Muslims in heaven, they will be sitting in the thro on throne. If Allah is the only king there, what a throne. I mean, what's wrong with those Abdul? Look, the throne became a couch. There's a huge difference between a throne and a couch. I mean, don't they notice that when you say that the Muslims will be sitting in their thrones, that means they are, you are making them equal to Allah because Allah is sitting in a throne. And the Arabic is so clear. I mean, there is nothing to do with the thrones. Araik. It's a high place. High cushion. It's not even a couch, actually. And they will be sitting there gazing. Look at this. Look at this. I mean, look how amazing it is. Don't you dream to be sitting in the top of a little high cushion? And you will be looking. I mean, isn't it this is the dream of every one of us? Isn't it this is what heaven is about? So the, look at the promises, look at the language. And then, though wit wilt know in their faces 
the radiance of the light. So now you are sitting in the couches and now you are delighted because you have a couch. Come on. Nobody have that. Anyone have that? No. Uh, they are given to drink of a pure wine sealed. Where is wine and where is sealed? What those guys are talking about? The word rahiq. Rahiq. Uh, change the translator again. I mean, this is what you need to do with those Arab translation or translators. You you will be this is rahiq is the is the wine, uh, because the Quran says in different places they will be drinking wine, so the Muslims they have to fix it, you know. So we have to give them wine here. Uh, let us see. This guy, he is coming with the word Rahiq as wine too. Rahiq, you know, is, you know, when, uh, uh, when, the, when the bees, they go to the, uh, to the flowers. You know what, you know, what they call it, the, the, you collect the nectar, the nectar, you know. So the rahiq is, uh, let us say, as the sweet uh, nectar of the flowers. They have nothing to do with wine. So why those people they are saying it is wine? Because that would be funny. Or this is the drink, or let us say this is the food of the bees. It's not something you can eat any anyway. It's not something you can drink. The nectar, the pure nectar, is the bee is going around collecting the nectar from the flowers or any whatever object, and then they carry it with their tongue into the hives, and then there there is a process to make it honey. So how in the world this is became wine? Look, out of them they are saying wine. It, it, they will be given to drink pure sealed wine. Why is that? Let me go and see. So we just for a laugh, you know. Uh, chapter 83, verse 25. <clears throat> Okay, this is Ibn Kathir. <clears throat> All right, let us see here. Okay, I get one more boom. All right, here. All right, okay, here we go. Ibn Kathir is coming with the same thing saying they will be given drink from wine of uh, paradise. You can copy right now the word uh, Rahir and you will see that the word Rahir mean or the mean of it is the nectar of the flower. Actually, let me type it here in Google. All right, here we go. We put the word Rahiq, and then we click translate to English. What the flower, uh, you know, the nectar, the, the, the nectar, as you see. The bees suck the nectar, this is Rahiq. How in the world the Rahir became wine? If there's any Muslim, can tell us how this is happening? Madness. 
But because Muhammad in different verses, he promised them wine, the Muslims, they have to come with this and say, oh, this is the wine, must be the wine. But he is not saying wine, he is saying nectar. And actually, uh, if you remember, there is, uh, there is a two author, they, they make a study for the Quran in Aramaic language. Uh, and they are from Germany. And they say that the word hur, the word hur, mean a grape. Hur mean a grape. Uh, and look like maybe they are right. <laughs> because here he promised them nectar, not wine. Let me see if all of them agree, trying to cover up. <clears throat> By the way, you can just copy this. You can copy it and paste it in Google Translation, and you will see it is nectar. Nectar. The word rahiq always means nectar. As simple as that. And as you see, we showed you even the dictionary, Islamic dictionaries. You know. Uh, but I think the Muslims, Muhammad here, he stole. Is part from a poetry of Emerald Qais. Emerald Qais, he was he mentioned the word when he speak about drinking, uh, but the word does not mean wine. But this is a poet man. He is saying that the best of the wine he drink is rahiq, but it's not a wine really. Uh, so and here, if if this is true, that's mean Muhammad is stealing from Emerald Qais again. His a point you know actually i can try to find uh the point the point point of emerald guys <clears throat> let us see if i can find it I'm sure we can find it somewhere. And you know, I, I remember we mentioned before that Muhammad always he still uh, it, you know he steal his his books. Yeah, here we go. I found it. Obviously, this is where the Muslims are coming with their conclusion from. From the poet of Amr Qais, and this is where Muhammad maybe he stole the words. He is using it in Arabic. We call it kinaya, which means you say a word, but you mean something else. Uh, let us see. This is the point of Emerald Qais, I just found it. And here you will see how Muhammad he stole the meaning, the the uh, not the direct meaning, the meaning of a poet man, and this is why the Muslims they come that this is the wine. Emerald Qais. It, it, the funny is that even the Muslims are explaining the verse; they are quoting Emerald Qais poet. Can you believe it? The Muslims are ex explaining the verse, saying that the word Rahiq means the best of the wine. Allah, He said, they are going to be. Uh, drinking from Rahiq Makhtoum. Waqala Imrul Qais. Imagine they are quoting the poet of Imrul Qais to prove the meaning.
Can you believe it? This is the verse from the Quran. And as you see, Google translation translated right away as nectar because this is really the meaning. It is nectar. This is not wine. Never was wine. But because Imr al Qais, a great Arabian poet man, very famous, he said that in one of his poet line. And as you see, the Muslims are saying, yes, well, and Imr al Qais, he said right away to explain it. How in the world nectar became a pure wine? Well, because in Rol Qais, he used it to describe his wine. <laughs> and I find it very funny that the Muslims could not find a meaning of a verse or a word in the Quran because it doesn't make sense. Or nectar is nectar, and wine is not a nectar, never was. You know, there's a huge difference between wine. Wine is made from a grape. You see, if wine is made from nectar, I will say, well, you know, wine is made from nectar, and this is why it's called this way, maybe, because it's coming from there. But it's not coming from nectar, you know. Nectar is something you, the bees collect specifically, the bees from the flowers. Is the wine made from the flowers? So he copied from Imrul Qais a poet, and this is why the Muslim, they go back to the poet, not to the dictionary. And this is why they add words into their dictionaries, because later they say, well, as long as this is what it's meant in the poet of Imrul Qais, well, obviously this is what it's meant in the Quran. So now the word nectar became pure wine. And here you ask yourself, when the Quran, as long as it's a pure wine, I want people to focus with me. As long as the Quran, it says a pure wine. Correct? This is what they are saying in translation, pure wine, right? And this is what Ibn Kathir is saying. But isn't it the Quran says that the Muslims, they will have wine mixed with Zanjabil? <laughs> is it pure or mixed? Do you see it? If the other verse is saying it's a pure wine, pure wine, very simple. How here it became mixed with zanjabil, with ginger. Do you see the contradiction? Either they will have a pure wine, or they will have a mixed cocktail of wine and ginger. And what is stupid? Why in the world do you want to mix ginger with wine? I mean, this, that's really weird. But because those Arab, they use ginger for their tea. They are used to it. So Muhammad, he knew how dear the ginger for them. So he promised them that your wine there will be mixed with ginger. With ginger. And this is a proof that the other verse, it cannot have the, word, the, the, the mean of wine, unless Muhammad, he meant really to say it's about wine, then that will be a total contradiction. Because how it says there, that is going to be pure wine. And here it says, is not going to be pure wine, you know. Which one? You see, the word the pure, it's something we cannot skip. You know, th this is what they are, I mean, with the translation, and all of them, they agree with the word the pure. And the pure is not mixed. You know? So this is a contradiction. But anyway, the chapter here has zero meaning. There is no meaning really. Um, it doesn't give anything really important to anyone. And it is repeating the same thing Muhammad he said many times. And you, want, you ask yourself, why in the world Allah keep repeating the same thing? Look, he just said you will be sitting in your couches or coaches, couches, 
and you will be reclining, right? Okay. Then you go down a little bit. He's saying the same thing again. And look in the day, in the day uh, uh, when you are in heaven, the Muslims will do bully to those who did not go and make it to heaven. This day, it is those who believe, who have love of the disbelievers. On high couches gazing, or gazing. <laughs> the bully. <laughs> What is that? Is it is that is that really a good ethic even? Is that a good ethic? You know, somebody is a sinner, we should be sad for him, right? I mean sorry for him. Not laughing at him, making fun of him, bully. So what you will be doing sitting in the in the throne in your in your sorry in your couches or your uh, pillow? which is very high, you will be laughing at other people. Uh, Animox, uh, I don't know, Anonimax saying, I want to ask if Islam wine is from God and you don't get drunk in heaven. Yeah, well, the, the funny is that wine anyway, you see how much wine Muhammad he speak of? But wine, according to the Quran, is from the act of shaitan. So how the wine is from the act of shaitan, and then the heaven is full of wine. And by the way, here Muhammad is again copying from Saint Paul about gamblers, drunk liars etc they will not go to heaven you know muhammad as usual he copy uh, but why wine is from shaitan and then why wine is in the heaven either it is satanic or it is not because wine is wine doesn't matter where the location is so is it from God or it's from Shaitan? And uh, you know why Allah? You know, see the Muslim they say to you, well, Allah did not forbid wine from the start because uh, He wanna uh, make the Muslims uh, like come to obedience in steps because it's very hard to say to someone stop drinking. But this is very funny because here we go. He just said he just did. What steps? What steps? You are actually promoting the wine in different verses, saying wine is a sign from Allah. If you remember once, there's a funny Abdul. He called me and he supposed he is a he's a he claimed that he he you know he can challenge me. So I asked him a question, simple question: Is wine bad or good? He don't he play he don't understand uh, Christian Prince stop interrupting me is wine bad or good they don't dare to answer because the Quran says wine is good so is it bad or it is good which one the Quran not only say it is good the Quran claim that wine is a sign from Allah it's a miracle from Allah <clears throat> and when we confront the Abdul with this, he says, uh, "Where it says it's a sign from Allah? Look, it's in the front of you." No, it doesn't say that, CB. You are lying. It doesn't say that. Where, 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 where? Okay. Therein, indeed, is a sign for people who have wisdom. Sign from who? You're lying, it doesn't say that, like it's in front of you. So how how wine is it from shaitan, from the act of shaitan, from the work of shaitan, and then we find wine and making people drunk is a miracle. 
See here, I noticed something very funny about Muhammad. Uh, you know, you remember the first sign Jesus did? The first sign, which is re re recorded in the Bible, which is uh, turning the, the, the water into wine. So look what happened. Jesus, he turned the water into wine. Muhammad, he claimed that is a sign from Allah. <laughs> but he's not talking about the wine of Jesus now. <laughs> he's talking about the wine in Mecca. <laughs> So the one who really, who really make miracles is Jesus. And the miracle of Muhammad, he claimed that wine is a miracle from Allah. Look how they get drunk, brother. Don't you see? You bring the guy, he's okay. He give him a couple of cups, he loses his mind. It's a sign from Allah, miracle, brother. Miracle. You know? Do we have any Muhammadan? I think the title is making few people come over here. So this is the first time we get 611. I think it's just a title. The title and the picture. You see, people they are like bees, you know, they like titles and pictures. That's why you see, uh, uh, you know, sometimes I know, like, I want, let's say I have time, I want to watch a movie in YouTube. Uh, so you search like a, a movie, and then you will find a movie uh, have a woman showing her uh, breast that will have the, the, the highest hits. But I know right away that this movie is a scam, there's no movie there, it's a fraud because they put the picture there so you can click if the movie is good you do not need that picture there you know obviously this picture is for the you know for the for the rats uh, and but the human being never changed i mean still the same he is attracted to pictures that's why the muslims they try to provide a nice pictures about islam like when a muslim he uh, he's debating a Christian. The Muslim they will put in the background, mm, no, like a music, supposed to, you know, so, because they want you to believe that this is a holy thing happening now. It's a holiness. They could not find holiness of Muhammad except speaking about his penis, except having sex with the children. So they try to add echo to the Quran, try to add background music to the verse. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. And there's a music behind him. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. I thought the music is haram. He look at the moon. He look at the prophet. So this is how silly this stupid Quran. But in order to make you think that it is something holy, we have to add some sound effect, visual effect, to bring the effect of holiness, which does not exist. In this Quran, All right? Do we have any Abdul? <laughs> yeah, but obviously a, a picture is making making a difference, as you see in the title. You know, because people they would think, okay, this guy is just going to talk about my book, Romanian, and most of the people they are not even Romanian, so that would why they would be here. All right. <clears throat> Anyone have a question? As you see, we don't have really a topic today. It's just, uh, you know, sharing some thought. Uh, we will try to come maybe either today, uh, later, or maybe tomorrow, and speak of more things. Anyone? Any Muhammadan? There's a Muhammadan challenge to debate me. Well, he is so brave to the point he don't dare even to come and say, I challenge you. <laughs> All of them, they challenge me. <laughs> but then nobody show up. <laughs> I challenge Christian Brins, okay? I challenge. Okay, well, give us your Skype. I will call you. You do not need even to come here. <laughs> <laughs> we accept all the challengers <laughs> the only thing the only thing I fear is a mosquito it's so small you can't smash so you don't have that privilege Abdul you are small but that not that not that small I can see you you know like a mosquito you don't know where the mosquito is coming from where is the mosquito oops she didn't bite me you know so, you know, 
You're in a challenge, Christian Prince. I challenge, I, you know, I'm willing to fly to America, okay? You know, if Christian Prince, a coward, you don't accept, you know, like, okay. We got it, we got it, Samita. We got it. Are, are you promoting for the guy now? Are you promoting for him? Maybe you are the same guy who is promoting for himself. Never come here and tell me there's a guy challenging you. That is a sign that you are being silly and stupid too. Because first you are promoting for Abdul channel. Secondly, if somebody want to challenge a person, he come and he speak to him. He don't make a challenge. He do it. We do not need to make a drama about it. You know. Uh, uh, Part a Rahman. Well, as long as you are a fan of him, well, I will send you to him. First, secondly, uh, why Matthew and uh, but I will answer you about your question. Why Matthew and Luke have different uh, genealogies of Jesus? That's very normal. Uh, I can say right now that Jesus is a son of David without mentioning certain names or I can add more names but still it's the same both are exist I can mention that Jesus is a son of David through Joseph or I can mention that Jesus son of David through Mary you are silly like the stupid who you carry his name and actually this Barat or Borat uh, as long as you mention his name I can say that he is mentally ill Actually, if we go here, and this is where Mimi Hijab was doing an interview with him, you will see that this guy is suffering from mental illness. He might be smart a little bit, but obviously he is suffering from mental illness. I will show you. You know, when somebody laughs, and he have an evil laugh, Okay, we'll go here, where he mentioned that, let's see. Uh, is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we... Well, Gabriel, it, hold on, I want to see the point. As mentioned, if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions that has no bearing on whether it comes from god or not i've had phone books that are inerrant but i certainly don't think god gave them <laughs> that we believe without understanding the brother asked a very important question that most of the scholars say that listening to music watching movies and most of the television programs they're haram so how can we have fun let me tell you brother at the outset that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. Skip to you. Urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. Did you see how he laughed? Do you see how he laughed? Let us say you are a person who don't believe in Jesus, right? This is why this is a ridiculous, you know. This is a very evil person in his heart. He is possessed. If you are a professional and you are not, you know, you don't believe in Jesus anyway. Jesus means nothing to you. But why you are laughing about crucifixion of a person, you are just saying he thought that he is the Messiah. And here you see how stupid he is because. If you're an atheist, you don't believe that there's a Messiah is coming anyway. So what do you mean he thought? If there is a Messiah is coming or not? If you say there's a Messiah is truly coming, that's mean you're a believer. If you say there's no Messiah is coming, that's mean you are not a believer. So when you say he thought that he is the Messiah, that is a contradiction for you being an atheist. At the same time, this love is about what? Why you are loving? And it's evil. It's ugly love. 
the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs> you know, uh, a Muhammadan saying, his name is Ahmad Sarsuri, Saruri, saying, Tafsir al Quran and Ikhtisas al Ulama la Juhala. Okay, Ahmad, how are you, Ahmad? So, guys, the interpretation of the Quran is the specialty of the scholars, not ignorant. But your prophet is ignorant. And now, if I show you what the scholars they say, you will say, I don't accept their interpretation. Do you want to challenge me? Do you want to challenge me, Mr. Ulama? Big mouth. The second you encounter them with their stupid scholars, they will say, we don't, we don't accept the scholars. Oh, here we go. This is your scholar, Ibn Kathir. Is he a scholar? Uh, no, he's not now. Huh? In a second, you will change your mind. You will say he's not. You will say he's not even a Muslim. You might even say he's a Jew. I might even hear you saying that he is a Hindu. Hmm? This is Ibn Kathir giving interpretation for the Quran, saying the following. Proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs, chapter 86, verse number 6 and 7. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So sperm is coming from the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. Which is referring to her chest. So Haib, uh, uh, etc., Ibn Bishr, Sah, whatever his name, reported from Ikrama, Ikrama, who narrated from Ibn Abbas, Batayta Tomato, that he said, uh, proceeding from the between the backbone and the ribs, backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. I, it is a fluid, yellow and fine in texture. The child will not be born except from both of them. Are you there, Mr. Scholar? Here we go. This is your scholar. This is your scholar. <laughs> now he will say, I don't accept the scholars. That is really a disaster. My religion is messed up. Scholars are not good. Hmm? Somebody's asking where is the uh, where is the book in Romanian? The link is down in the info, my friend. You can click there and you can download. All right, <clears throat> and don't forget to share the books. It's for free for everybody as a gift from me. So those Mohammedan, if a Christian prince, he read for them, you will see the comments saying you are lying. It's, I show them in their screen. And by the way, Ibn Kathir in Arabic have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in English. What does that mean? If you remember, there's once a woman from Germany, she called me a long time ago. She, the, 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 I was reminded by this because I saw a video of like 126,000 view in it, uh, where, a, where a, a, a woman from Germany she called me and she said that Christian Prince is lying about the satanic verses, right? And they said to her, where in Ibn Kathir it says what he's saying? Where in Ibn Kathir it says what he is saying? If you go to Ibn Kathir in English, you don't see it. So what happened? Ibn Kathir in English have nothing to do with Ibn Kathir in Arabic. Usually, and I'm surprised by the way that this line is there here, because usually they delete anything will bring embarrassment to Islam. Like the satanic verses. So if we go right now and search for satanic verses here, <coughs> about al gharani hmm. This is a chapter 22, verse number 52. The video is there. I don't know if you have it. You can watch it. So they say to her, you know, he's lying. It's not there. Go read in Ibn Kathir. We cannot find it. Right? And the way they do it is simply go to Ibn Kathir in English. All right? 
So the Quran says, chapter 22, verse number 52, never we, did we send a messenger or a prophet before, but the Quran throw in his whatever. So actually the Quran confirmed that Muhammad, he received satanic verses. So how do you deny it? However, if we go right now, and this is Ibn Kathir in English, 22, 52, we will not find the story about Muhammad speaking about the, the three daughters of Allah and their intercession is a must. Where it goes? Isn't it, this is a translation? You see, when somebody translate, he translate. He don't add words. He don't take off words. Right? You, you don't. You don't add. You don't add words. If the verse saying in front of us that you know, uh, Shaitan he throw. That means Shaitan he throw. If the Ibn Kathir saying in the Arabic book that the Prophet he recited the three daughters of Allah, their intercession is a must, and then he bowed down and they bowed down with him, which means worshiping them. We should put that as it is in the Quran, or in, sorry, in the English translation. But if we go right now, we will not find it. But if we go in the Arabic, we will find it. Isn't it amazing? This is why I say to you, you cannot really debate Muslims based in your own knowledge which you learned from books printed by Muslims. Like now, if I want to debate a Muslim and only I speak English, I have no other way to know that this is really not what Ibn Kathir is saying. They took it off. They delete everything. Where is the story? I cannot find it. And actually you will see that explaining the story here about the satanic verses, it's just a few lines. Look how many lines, three lines, four lines. But if you go in the Arabic, Arabic, Ibn Kathir, which is the book of Ibn Kathir, The rest is just a translation, you know? Let us show you Ibn Kathir translation. Give me a second. This is why always I say to you, you have to be careful debating the Muslim, the Muhammadan is not a debate, it's a game. Because even if someone he translate, you see, how even you accept him as a translator when he is cutting off pages, how in the world you accept that? So I will go to the official government website of the government of uh, Jordan. in front of you. Chapter 22, verse number 52. And then we will choose Ibn Kathir. Uh, here we go, Ibn Kathir. Click display. And you will see how huge and how long the translation, the, 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 the interpretation is. And not only that, you will find that the first line, the first line in the top, from the beginning of the inter interpretation, is speaking about the three daughters of Allah, right away, not later. The first line, Ibn Kathir, explaining the verses, right away he speak about the three daughters of, uh, you know, and here Ibn Kathir is trying to refute, Ibn Kathir, by the way, is like a YouTuber these days, trying to refute the Christians. And according to him, this is not accepted, you know. There is many reported it, but it is, uh, they say it's a mursal. But who care? Why, why you take it off? Why you take it off from the translation? Same time, 
according to you it is rejected according to the rest it is accepted this is why it's there who are you ibn kathir and the funny is that muhammad and they say if somebody came 200 years after jesus we don't accept him how many years your prophet came after jesus um, how many years ibn kathir he came after muhammad almost 800 years after muhammad So how the one who came long before Muhammad, like at tabari but he's, sorry, long before Ibn Kathir, is not accepted for you now, and you want to accept Ibn Kathir, same time, at least be honest and say what Ibn Kathir is saying. So here, this is Ibn Kathir, the first line, you translate to English, I will do it in front of your eyes. The first line from the beginning, it says, this is here the story of al gharani the three daughters of Allah. You see it? Many commentators, many commentators. Who are the, those commentators? Muslims, scholars, have mentioned here the story of Agharani and the return of many immigrants. Many of those, you know, they, they went to Ethiopia, uh, you know, because now Muhammad and the Muslims and the, and the pagans, which are Muslims too, uh, they are worshipping the same God and they are worshipping the three daughters of Allah. Why they came back? This is, this is how bad it was. Because obviously this is not one incident. If the news went all the way to Ethiopia, this means it took a long time and it was practiced for a while. Why? Because Muhammad, he said, that those, uh, uh, when Muhammad he was praying, and this is Ibn Kathir saying, Quoting what other scholars they say. When the Messenger of Allah was praying, he said, Have you uh, uh, considered Allah al Uzza and the last, uh, uh, the Manat? Okay. And their intercession is to be requested or needed. And then he bowed down. He bowed down. And they bowed down with him too. But look, all of this, we cannot find one word of it. Look how long this page is. Look, all of this is about the daughters of Allah. Look, all of this. Huh? We go down, the page is so long still. All of this. And then the page is a three pages, not only this. After all of this, you will find that here still we have in page number one, and there is, the, there is page number two, and there is page number three. All of this cannot be found on the Arabic translation. It's gone in the English translation. Where is the story? The first line should be in the translation is the same about what we mentioned, that they bow down, they, they bow down to the three daughters of Allah. But we don't even find the mentioning of the three daughters of Allah here. Nowhere. So do you understand why you cannot consider Muslim books to learn Islam? You cannot. Three pages from the Arabic book of Ibn Kathir are deleted. Yeah, this is Ibn Kathir in Arabic. I'll give it to you. And this link, as you know, as I told you, this is the official government website of the Kingdom of Jordan. You can go down in the bomb and you can contact them if you want. This is why Muslims, Muhammadans, when they see somebody who speaks Arabic, they escape, they skip the person. When they that, he decided to debate, it was a big mistake, and he's Sharush, an Arab Christian. He debated him for the first debate, the second debate, did that, he ran away. The guy, Ani Sharush, he came to the, to the, to the, uh, uh, to the debate place, and did that, never show up.
Well, first of all, uh, uh, all the books of Hadith, uh, you see, when Muslim they say Al-Bukhari, what is the most authentic book of Al-Bukhari, uh, 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 of Hadith? They say Al-Bukhari. But Muslims do not have one book of Al-Bukhari. They don't, regardless of the date. Ahmad Sarui saying, do you know the numbers of churches are closed in Canada and Almania? Uh, I think you are a funny person, uh, Ahmad. Do you know that the Kaaba was closed during Corona? And it was totally empty. And Allah, he did not keep his promise that no plague will enter. Secondly, the churches where I live is flooded with believers. To the point they rent stadium to do the service. Do you know that? And let us say for the sake of argument, Ahmad, there is only one person still is a Christian. Still Islam is a fraud. Very silly, very stupid people. You know, they have nothing. Poo poo. You know, this is religion of poo poo. Eh, you want to drop poo poo. Do you know how many churches are empty? Uh, let me tell you about churches can be empty. Uh, in the West, <clears throat> when a church became need too much maintenance and it's more expensive to maintain from having it, even they put it for sale. They put the church for sale and they moved to different buildings. Mm -hmm. So this is not because it's empty, because they moved to a different location. The, there is all the churches, they, they, have a, they have a lot of maintenance costs, the roof is collapsing, etc. And not only that, even they cannot fix it in a normal way because some of them, they are considered historical or etc. So the government, they would say like, a, you know, like some restriction on fixing, how to fix, how to repair. But for you, you think churches are closing. But I saw the video, which is made by David Wood, where he have a collection of videos of the Muslims speaking about the avalanche, the disaster of people leaving Islam. Didn't you see it? Let me see if I can get it for you. Just, you know, to make you happy. Avalanche, tsunami, your scholars or your sheikh says. We can call we cannot call them scholars, they are a bunch of potatoes. It is going to be a tsunami, my friend. Twenty four percent of the Muslim youth are not Muslims no more. That's what they say, not me. Let me see if I can find the video. I'm just looking in the history. Of my uh Anyone remember the name of the video? What was the name of the video? I forgot the name of the video, but it's made by David Wood. You can you can go and check his previous videos in the last maybe month. So. It's going to be a tsunami, uh, Ali Dawa crying, Muimi uh, Hijab crying, Muslims are leaving Islam. It's going to be avalanche. It's going to be a tsunami. 24% of Muslims leaving Islam. Why are you crying if, if uh, you know? And as long as uh, our churches are empty, as you claim, why you are fighting the Christians and if they preach the gospel in your country, you will arrest them? Yeah. Stupidity. Actually, all of them they are apostate. Not a single Muslim is not apostate. Nobody follow Muhammad. Do you clean your ass with the three rocks? You don't. Do you listen to music? You do. Do you have a bell in your phone? You do. Ah. Well, my friend, according to your prophet, you are speaking about lying. You need to know that you can lie in three cases. Your friends to your enemies and to your wife. So don't talk about lying. So if you are saying I'm lying, you idiot. Well, I'm following Muhammad then. <laughs> All right? If I am lying, as you are saying, well, obviously, uh, then somebody is following Muhammad. Prove me lying.
Can you? Uh, for some reason, the video you posted, uh, Corina, you know, could not open it. It didn't work. The link you posted. You have when you copy a video to paste, click at share. Don't copy the link from the top. Or the one who posted the link, Lisa. You have to click at share. Don't copy the link from the top. Copy the link to share. So we can open it. Actually, even Muhammad, he said, Muhammad, you see the Muslims, they are against even their prophet, just because they are desperate for their propaganda. Isn't it Muhammad, he said, that Islam will go back like a snake to its hole? Islam is start as a small, will end as a small. Let me find you the hadith. So if this is what you are, you know, trying to mention, will that be very painful for you? Because uh, your prophet, he described Islam as a snake. We'll go back to its hole. And now you will cry, you will say, I don't accept what the prophet is saying. Right? You don't accept what your prophet is saying. Obviously, your prophet is a liar. This is the hadith. And this is very authentic. I'll put it for you on the screen. And I find it really astonishing that Muhammad, he described his religion as a snake. The same as his God name is drawn and written like a snake. Do you see it? So which one is saying the truth, you or Muhammad? Which one? Your religion is a snake, and your religion will be demolished, and your religion will be defeated, and all of this is the news from CNN by Prophet Muhammad. What say you? What is the Abdul? Who is the Abdul willing to call me and say the Prophet is a liar? Who is Abdul? He dared to call me and say, My prophet is lying. Islam will grow. Look at them now. They, they go. They put their tail between their legs and they say, Shish kebab, Allahu Akbar. Our prophet, he is making poopoo -poo again. Is that a fake news? A brother, Ahmad, now announced that it is time for him to pray for the sunset. Yeah, sunset worshipper. And what do you mean, you a prayer for the sunset? The sunset in the murky water. Why you wanna? Why you wanna pray to the murky water? Suddenly now he wanna go to pray, brother. He is a holy man. You see the hypocrisy. That's why Jesus he warned us from religion like this cult of Muhammad. They love to say, "I'm going to pray right now." I'm a true believer, uh, brother Ahmad. After you pray or before you pray, you will watch porn of children's. Just question. Because your prophet, he encouraged you to go after little ones. I want to pray right now. Pray right now. I remember the Mohammedan going out from the mosque and they are giving fingers in the ass of each other. Old men. I was a little kid. I, I got disgusted. A bunch of men just, just came from the from the mosque in the front of my eyes, wearing their shoes. They are wearing their shoes. The guy he bent over to wear his shoes. The other guy he have a gray hair. 
you give him a finger in his anus. The other guy, he have one shoe in his in his foot. The other shoe is not even he did not put it in. He chased him and he gave him a finger in his anus too. Then the other guy is coming. He's he start laughing too. The the whole mosque is giving fingers to each other. Very holy people. Search right now for stealing shoes in the mosque. Just search on Google and YouTube. Search for a stealing wallet in the mosque. Stealing bicycles. Motorcycle. Which is the best, best place to steal? I'm not. I'm not joking. By the way, if you think I'm, may, you know, I'm joking. I'm not. Let me, okay, hold. On. Maybe some of you don't believe it. This is the place of theft. The mosque is a place where you do molest children, you steal, you take the wallet of somebody. You know, this is why you see many of the Muslims when they go to the mosque, they put their shoes inside their chest in their in their clothing. They don't dare to leave it outside, especially if you have a new shoes. This is why uh, many Muslims when they go to the to the mosque. They, uh, they, they choose a dirty shoes, old shoes, which mean if you throw it in the street, nobody will take it. I just <coughs> made little, sh little, sh sorry, little search, and you will find tons of videos of Muhammadan. They go to the mosque just to steal shoes or steal wallet. You leave your jacket outside, buy buy jacket. You leave your wallet, buy buy wallet. You leave your shoes, buy buy shoes. You leave your bicycle, buy buy bicycle. It doesn't matter what you leave; they will take it. Theft. Uh, I saw in the news, I think it was Al, Ar Al Arabiya, where a Muslim, uh, uh, they, ha they, have a, they have like a house for orphans, for Muslims, and more than 80 child were raped by the sheikhs they are taking care of the mosque but those things you don't see them in the CNN you see CNN is interested in anything you do as a Christian if you are a Christian or false Christian and you do child molestation CNN will put it in every two seconds because those are antichrist anti-Christianity but I didn't see really in CNN any of this news the one who publish it is Muslim news actually and it's a daily news but if you are a Christian, let's say you are a minister in a church and you commit something wrong, whatever, or bad, or even a crime, or you are a criminal, CNN will repeat that every two seconds. Do we have any Muhammadan? But anyway, it's a proven to me too that title of the video will make people come or not to come to watch it. Here we go, we have only 760, which is very rare to happen. Usually we will have 1,200, uh, 1,500, almost 2,000. Just because we have a title is not interesting. And we don't have a picture which is interesting. People don't click and don't join. Human being, is a is a is a you know this is why actually 
they have commercial you know why they have commercial because you are an image click person they control your mind make you buy things by showing your images in tv that's why youtube uh, uh, you know take a lot of money for advertising and uh, because they make you buy it Can you leave your uh, car in front of the mosque? Depend. If your mosque is in Pakistan and it's your mosque is a Shia, I don't advise you because the Sunni, they might explode the mosque of the Shia. So don't do it. You know? <clears throat> Depend. Yeah. Actually, yeah, today I wasn't really planning even to come here. I just wanted to post to everybody to be informed that we have our uh, book in uh, in the Romanian language is here, uh, ready to go for those who care to download. And actually, I hope that all of you will download the, the, all, all the books we have. So anytime you meet somebody from different culture, different uh, country, different languages, well, you have a list of languages already translation or translated to my, my books so you can share the books with them right so i hope i hope many of you already downloaded the book it's for free anyway one day you meet uh, with the romanian guy romanian lady and you talk about you know you want to give a gift i have a gift for you it's for free you know i will send it to you it's a book about etc How do you download you go to uh, you, you go to the link and then in the top it says download very easy you can download you know it's a pdf file in the top it says download or print very easy all right so i advise you to download all the video all the all the books and those by the way they don't take even memory i mean each one of them is not even all the books together maybe will not make any uh, like one gigabyte you know and you you can repost them in g drive or in your email it will not take any size right uh, this way we can preserve them for the future you know and we would have them for centuries and centuries to come because you see the beautiful thing about the internet today that we can reach to where we cannot reach before same time we can share in extreme speed I'm talking to you, maybe the delay between me and the, the second you hear the word depend on your location and how fast your internet is going to be maybe a few seconds, maximum maybe 10 or 20 seconds. But the file we post online about a book can be shared in extreme fast way. And today, like before, you have to have a computer. Not everybody can have a computer. Not everybody have a skills to use computer. Uh, internet is so slow. I remember like when the first time I started using the, the, the internet, we used to have like the, the, the phone line, you know, and then the modem stuck, then, 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 you know, you, and then you have to call the, and they say to you, you have to restart, or even sometimes you have to take your computer to repair it. Logging to the internet was really a big hassle. Okay. I remember once I made a video. It's not even maybe five minutes. Because I made it uh, 20 minutes, I could not load it. I made it 15 minutes, I could not load it. So I made a video of five minutes. I start loading the file. I went to work. I came back from work. The file is still is loading. <laughs> I went to sleep. I woke up. The file is still loading. It's five minute video. Five minutes. So you can imagine. And not only that. You woke up again and you find error. <laughs> error start all over. <laughs> so today, I mean, we are blessed with the with the with the internet we have. And by the way, many of you, you are really lucky that you don't live in USA when it's come to the internet. You know, when we speak about USA, people think that here we have the fastest internet in the world, right? And we have the fastest technology and etc my speed you know i was in many european countries even the poor one like i was in romania for ten dollars just ten dollars 
you get 300 megabyte for real speed real speed not like here they give you 300 and you end with two here those beasts you know the company the big companies they are thieves if you if i show you my speed you will laugh if you remember actually just a year ago before i switch i used to keep losing you know a connection you remember so imagine this is america I went to villages in uh, in Romania, villages, not cities. A village, a village is just a village, you know. Their speed is better than the speed in USA. We have good speed only if you live in a huge city. Those are the only one have a great speed. If you are not, it's very expensive anyway. Sixty-five, seventy dollars at least. Same for phone lines. It's extremely expensive. Internet speed is is horrible. They tell you you will re, you will get a, a you know speed of uh, whatever, and then suddenly you lose connection. There's no connection. Why? Not because they don't have connection in that area, but because their lines are busy. So it depend in your subscription. For me, I don't use really. I don't pay for phone like to have a full time phone. I pay for prepaid. You know prepaid. Prepaid is the worst. That's mean you are the poorest in the country. So what they do, when everybody is using the network, all the ones who they are in prepaid, they put them at the end of the faucet. So you receive internet when nobody is using it. And usually this is happening when people are asleep. <laughs> but in, uh, in, in countries like Romania, it's very cheap, very cheap, very fast very good they have a fiber you know i mean so that's what we call it the uh, uh, fiber optic you know the cables even in the small towns here we don't have them you see when uh, when uh, 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 trump and joe biden speak about america we need to rebuild we need to rebuild you know america has reputation we have the high tech of let us say the whipping companies yes etc but the country is really suffering badly from the beast. The first thing you need to do, you need to conquer those beasts like AT&T, T-Mobile, those are controlling and they don't want to, they want to make money, but they want to spend. And as long they can make you pay $65 for a line and they give you a service not even worth $5. So why they want to fix anything? Nobody's forcing them. You see, there's no government regulation that says, when you say, I'm going to give you a speed of etc. You have to keep what you promise. Nobody's watching. So they play with everybody. Yeah, one dollar in India, you can get, you get 12 gigabyte in India. Good for you. Here I pay 65 and I don't get, you know, some, some, sometime even, you know, like normal video in YouTube doesn't work. Yeah. Anyway, how many of you, by the way, did uh, subscribe to our channel about uh, uh, the Bible study? If you don't, please don't forget in case you like it, because I think it's going to be very helpful for you, even if you are a person who very well educated in the Bible. Being with the community in the chat, you can help. You know what I mean? You can you can help the the, the rest of us uh, who they are there for the same reason to study to share your opinion to share a verse or to say uh, or to correct too you know uh, Yeah, obviously in USA we have a big problem with those big tech companies. They are liars, they are thieves, and they are very expensive, you know. And uh, you know, like I wish there's countries you can, you know, you can go and just live there because life will be easier than living in USA. Uh, here, you know, life. I mean, this country is really blessed. We have. Many things are cheap, but not with Joe Biden. But now, 
I went yesterday to buy some chickens. I could not find chickens. Can you believe it? This is America. I went to Walmart. There's a zero chicken in the shelves. Zero. It is unbelievable. This is the guy they put for us in the White House. He cannot even keep the chicken in the shelf. The price of gas is skyrocketing. The price of uh, uh, heat is skyrocketing. Everything is going crazy. Just because we have a donkey who is a Democrat. And this is why they chose donkey as symbolic for their party. And now, you know, the, the Russian are laughing at the American. I mean, everybody is laughing at this country because of this Joe Biden. There's no chicken. Go to Walmart. There's no chicken. I went there. Actually, I was going to record it. <laughs> but I said, well, I want to I actually want to record it. But then I found there's many videos in YouTube already. They are talking about there's no chicken in Walmart. <laughs> Buy falafel? I don't know how to make falafel, I wish. I like falafel, I'm not against falafel. Yeah, one day when I get uh, like, uh, uh, I will do, uh, I will find a woman, she is rich, her name is Khadija, and I will buy a nice farm in the mountains, and me and Khadija, with her money, thanks to Allah, we will live together, you know? We will grow our chickens and we will not be worried about the chicken Joe Biden. Yeah. You know, those, those Democrats are really weird and they are mental. I mean, imagine, uh, what, 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 is the, what is the name of the, the ex-governor of California, the actor? What his name? And this guy is not a Democrat, by the way. This is a Republican. <laughs> Just to show you the hypocrisy of those people, all of them. This guy, he have tons of videos about going green. You know, he is under the influence of going green. Okay. Uh, do you know the pollution? You know, the, the, the global warming? You know, you know, and the, okay, okay, okay. Famous actor. And then just two days ago, he have an accident in California. Arnold, Arnold, yeah. Yeah. He had an accident in California. Did you see his car? This guy, he have tons of videos about how we should stop using gas, burning fuel, global warming. Let me search for some of them. Hold on. You want to go green? I mean, what you can say? Look, the BBC, BBC interview, you know, the guy is in the BBC interview. Arnold, call leaders, liars over climate change, BBC. <laughs> Him and John Kerry, all of them, they are the same, all of them. All of them, they drive the most fancy cars, which suck gas like like, like like a dragon. Here we go. Let me see if I can find the video about his car accident. Look at his car. His car is the kind you can describe it as the ship of Noah. What happened to the guy who don't want to burn gas? What is this? Well, let us see if we can show you the car. The car is one of the most expensive, and those cars are huge. Huge. Look, to the point even his car went over the other cars. He, when you hit an accident with this car, you don't hit from the front, you go over the car. All of them, they are the same scam. They want to make you pay for a global warming. They want to make you believe in a global warming. They make speeches about it, but they live like kings 
their lights is never turned off their cars is like a sh like a like a ship of noah can host your neighbors and the neighbors together in one car and then they school you about the right and the wrong all of them are the same how many cars they go with uh, with Joe Biden when he go outside? How many of the you know Obama? He used to speak about global warming too, and then his wife she wanna buy some zucchinis, some what? Some zucchinis. So they close the road. They close the road. 30, 40 Secret Service cars. Just because the woman she wanna buy some zucchini. You know. Okay. I mean, think about it. She wanna buy zucchini. Closing roads, shutting down traffic. People waiting in their cars. They can't drive. They can't move because Her Majesty Antony, you know, uh, uh, Mary Antoinette. Do you see the car, guys? I mean, do you see this guy? How much conservative he is in burning fuel? His car did not hit the other car. The car went over it because it's very high. <laughs> And by the way, what is the price of this car? You can't tell. <clears throat> Actually, I respect the Saudi more than the American when it's come to this. You see, the Saudi, they don't, they don't keep saying stupid things like this. I mean, they knew they cannot live without oil. Those Democrats, they knew that oil is 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 a must until you find a solution for to to exchange the oil with something else. Then you stop the oil. But then, until then, not now. So this stupid guy now he is meeting with the prince of Qatar and now he is meeting for, with, the, with the prince of, of Kuwait. Why? Because there is going to be a huge shortage in uh, uh, in, in uh, fuel and gas and etc. If something happened in Ukraine, so why you stop your pipeline, you idiot? And until now he did not open it. Like look, whatever happened, still he he is he is willing to go and beg. The prince of Qatar to you know to increase his you know supplement, the prince of Kuwait, but he will not use the oil which we have in our land. This is how dummy this party is called Democrat. This is why I believed that this party is the party of the dummies. You have to be a certified idiot to join such a party. The same as you know Canada. Canada they have the same garbage too. Anyway. <laughs> you know, I'm going to buy a car like his, and then I will open a channel and YouTube will not take down my video. Hmm? As long as I say what they like to hear, you know. <laughs> Hey, my friend, that the Russian, they do not need the Saudi, they do not need the Chinese. The Russian, they make agreement with the Saudi so they can keep the price high. Russian are not in need in any energy. The, the Chinese, yes, maybe. But even the Chinese, sooner or later, they will stop using the oil of all of them because they are building nuclear facilities to generate power everywhere. Uh, you know, every country in the world is doing great when it's come to energy except the stupid American and the stupid European. Everybody. Germany, they shut all their nuclear electric generators. They shut it down. And now they are under the mercy of Mr. Putin. Good for the Russian. Mental. This is what happens when you bring those liberals to government. You lose your security, you lose your income, you lose your heat, you lose everything. Yeah. And you know, in here in USA, we have we have oil more than all of them together. And this is what is what make you upset. I mean, if this country is don't have it, we will say, well, what we can do? I mean, we don't have it. In the time of Trump, USA become number one country oil producer in the world. In the world. 
We are selling to everybody. What they accomplished now? Did they stop using oil? No, we are buying it. So what the point? I mean, they are mental. And not only this, by stopping producing oil in USA, they increase the oil price for you. Because you see, the more in the market, the more price will go down. So that affects you too. Even if you are a person who lives in Indonesia or living in Europe or living in Africa, it doesn't matter where you live. When there's many producers of oil and there's more than enough of oil, then the price will go down to all and then the inflation will go down to everybody and people will have a better life everywhere, not only for USA. The less production we have, the more impact will be in all the world because this is a global need, not just a country need. But what you can say to if you have a if you have a, a king, he is a he's a donkey. Literally, we got a donkey. You know, I cannot wait until the coming election happen. So this donkey, we will put him in a leech. Because this is what will happen. This Democrat Party people in the USA they start noticing how stupid their decision to support. A democratic party which is not democratic they are racist they teach evil they spread racism this is a party who speak against racism but it's number one racist party and how you know they are racist because they use the race card in anything if you don't vote for joe biden you are no black if you don't vote for joe biden you are supporting the kkk and joe biden Is supposedly the one who defend the minority he was with Obama for eight years and Obama did not ever do anything for the minority and right now both of them they live where is Obama he live he live between the rich white people you see all those who speak about race against racism including the black or the white they don't live in a black neighborhood they live in a white, rich neighborhood. The question, how in the world you don't want to live with them, the one you claim you defend? What's wrong? Where in Nancy Pelosi she live? <laughs> Pelosi. What a turtle. Ah. Uh. A Christian fan, I don't appreciate you telling me what to do. Uh, what you said is just a stupid. Sorry to say. What does this guy have to do with my channel anyway? Are you being silly now, a kid? Uh, you know the, the mistake Christians they do when they make a challenge, make it personal. Don't ever make it personal. Here we conquer the head of the snake not a person a person they will say to him well he don't present islam so don't be silly and don't be stupid here we conquer muhammad and his religion we don't care for this guy and that guy don't waste your time with a stupid bully this is why you know muslims they don't debate me they bully they try to bully me are you going to be a going to be a bully too Those who do bully, they always lose. They are bully. Who is going to listen to them? Actually, the Muhammadan, they always try to make you turn into a bully like them so you stop talking about their prophet. It doesn't hurt Islam if you bully uh, Mimi Hijab, right? Like he was bullying David Wood. He was making fun of him, right? So, if you want to bully Mimi Hijab, that doesn't hurt Islam. Maybe who is Mimi Hijab anyway, you know? But if you speak about the stupidity of Muhammad, that what does hurt. Anything else is stupid. Anyway. 
I think we have enough for today. Who is this guy, Zakum? Guys, you know, I noticed actually the, the funny thing about, uh, about people here. Uh, you will see a Muslim, he make a comment. And then the Christians, they are busy, keep telling him, call him, call a Christian prince, call a Christian prince. Didn't you notice that this guy is ignoring what you are asking him for? I mean, why do you need to repeat the same thing? Don't you know that he can call me and he know how to call? Right? Just forget about them. Uh, any question to be honest with you I need to go and take a shower I I order some dead dogs and I ask the neighbor if he is wife she have her period because I need some of her blood and her rags to put it in my you know my uh, uh, bathtub and uh, I asked the neighbors if they can give me some garbage because I am out of it because I want to make a nice mixed cocktail put them in my bathtub and put them until they really stink you know and the smell come to you and then I will jump in the shower sorry I cannot take selfie I'm not like I'm, I'm, I'm against taking pictures I will apologize by the way, this is true. I've been in many, many countries. I don't have pictures of myself. Uh, uh, for for my reason, because I look scary. That's number one. Uh, number two, I'm worried that the phone might burn. You know, this is number two. True story, by the way. And uh, number three, uh, if I take a picture like this, me in the bathtub with dead dogs, women of blood from period, and garbage, which is a stinking, do you know how many companies they will use my video for commercial? For tourism? The French, the Belgium, Switzerland, cruise ship. They will take my, they, I will get rich actually. They will sign a contract with me. Can we use your idea in our, I will make copyright over it, you know. Can we use your idea and your technique? for tourism. Hmm? Hmm. Look what Zakum is saying. Hey, how are you, Zakum? Uh, Zakum, you are leaving us now? Zakum, he decided to leave us. Hey, Zakum, uh, hold on. Uh, I, I like what you post for us. Don't, don't leave Zakum, because you are a Zakum, you know. So guys, look what Zakum, he said. Zakum, he paused for us this verse. Zakum, if there is a mistake in the Arabic grammar there. Zakum, if there is a mistake in the Arabic grammar you just put for us in the screen. Are you trying to fix the Quran? It says here, Wala tulbisu. الحق بالباطل. Where is the alif? Where is the bottle? What happened there? You put little alif there to fix it? Are you there, Zaku? I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid god who do not know Arabic? وتكتمو. وأنتم تعلمون <laughs> Is it Allah he said that you know not what I know so how now they knew <laughs> uh, What a stupid religion see here by the way the Quran we have in front of us this is not the same Quran he was copying from Hey, Zakum, can you give me the website? 
you post you you copy that link that that uh, verse from uh, honestly if you can give it to us i will appreciate what website you are copying from because here is the corrected version in arabic we see you see al bottle here is different from al bottle he showed us why because they are correcting it and as long your god is against covering up for deception so how he says i are you going to do the guide the one who allah misguide are you going to guide the one who Allah deceived? Who is the one who is exchange the truth with, with lies? Huh? So he's quoting for us this verse here. O oh, people of the scriptures, why you mix the truth? with falsehood you stupid idiot how you call us people of scriptures and we are mixing things with the with truth with false i mean do you see how stupid even the description so i say to you all people of decency because people of the scriptures scriptures is people of decency because those are the, the one who follow god the second you say to a person Oh, people of the scriptures, that's mean they are following the scriptures. So how they are following the scriptures and you just call them by such a title and they are the one who deceive. How stupid is this claim? Because if they are deceiving, well, they are not people of scriptures anymore. So why you keep calling them people of scriptures? Hmm? And then look at this. A party of the people of the scriptures, between two bracket Jews and the Christian, they wish to lead you astray. But they shall not lead astray anyone except themselves. They perceive not. Let's go to the different verse in the Quran so we can laugh at this. Just to show you how stupid the one who wrote the Quran. Uh, chapter 2 verse number 26 Allah is not ashamed to set forth parable even for a, of a mosquito or so much more than it's bigger okay what the point as and as for those who believe they know that this is that it is the truth from their Lord but <clears throat> For those who disbelieve, they say, oh, what uh, did Allah intend it by this parable? Like, what the heck? They are just asking. Mislead many, and he guide many. So Allah, he made the parable to mislead many? <laughs> Do you see the stupidity? Who is the one is misleading them? The people of the book? And the other people, Allah. But he mislead many. And he guide many. So what the parable, what the purpose of the parable is to mislead many and to guide many. Have you believed in such a garbage like this? If this is the purpose of the parable, to mislead many. Do you see how stupid this book is? Jesus, he gave us a parable not to mislead us? Absolutely not. So we can understand what he is saying. Allah, he is saying, admitting that his parable are stupid to the point, and he is claiming that he make it stupid. What is the purpose? To mislead many and to guide many. Who is the one who is guided? Is some of the many. And who is the one who is misguided? Is some of the many. But who is the one who misguided them? Allah. <laughs> and then Allah, He come with a conclusion that Allah, how you disbelieve in Allah? Seeing that you were dead and He gave your life. Where? Hey, Muslims, is that the zombie? 
We used to be dead and he gave us life. When? So why can't you this why you believe this believe in Allah? Seeing that you were dead and he gave you life. Then he gave you life, or he will, you know, he will give he will, he will make you die. And then he will make you alive. That's mean we did die, die, and live twice. When? What what is that? And then the Muhammadan trying to solve this problem so everybody give you his own interpretation. Do you have any Abdul? Everything the Quran says is really stupid. Like, uh, you know, when, when the Muslim is saying, as an example, the Big Bang. The Muslim is say that this verse is about the Big Bang. I say, okay, no problem. But here you say something stupid. Have not those who disbelieve know that the heaven, the earth, you know, actually translation is false, it's not no, it says sees. Alam Yara. Change the translation or translator, you will find different meaning. So if Allah talking about the first creation he created, how in the world you say, don't you see why they were there? Is that the first creation? Then the Muslim, in order to fix the stupidity when they claim that this is about the Big Bang, they say, no, 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 this is not about at that time. This is now about, don't you see that the earth is separated from the heaven? Okay, are we separated from the heaven? Are we? We are inside the space. We are not even a dust inside the space. So every single verse in the Quran is a stupid. Right? Anyway, <clears throat> uh, we better stop here because the, the shower top is waiting for me and the dead dogs are waiting and the women blood from period is waiting too. As you know, it cost me a lot of money to collect those things because these days it's very, everything is expensive. The shelves and water, Walmart is empty. You know, I went there, I found there's no dead dogs. And uh, I found that there is no uh, women blood from period to order, you know. And uh, garbage, even garbage, are not really there because people, they cannot find food in Walmart. So how we would have garbage? So we are in trouble. You know? However, after I take a shower, following the sunnah of Allah Prophet, practicing how Allah, he used to wash, I think I will come back to you very, very active and very, very clean. Too bad now in the internet, we cannot share with you how we smell. Thank God. We cannot, because you can imagine what would happen. And the Prophet of Allah is proven to us, by the way, that he must be a person who sent from God. Why? Because he takes shower with dead dogs, women of blood from period, and garbage, stinky garbage, to prove to us what? A scientific fact. That water is always pure and nothing make it impure. So if you are a person who fight for, uh, you know, fighting pollution, fighting, uh, destroying your beach or your lake or your river, brother, you are mistaken. Water is always pure and nothing make it impure. And this is proven scientifically to be correct by Prophet Muhammad, bees and dot dogs and women of blood from period, and garbage stinky up of him, as the hadith says. We should print this everywhere. We should put it in the highway. We should teach the world. You remember this guy with his name? Uh, I forgot his name, from Pakistan. Uh, brother, this Christian prince, he said he is debating me. In fact, this is not my voice. You know, if it's my voice, you can recognize it right away. And today we will talk about how to fight Corona. The Prophet is the one who taught us how to fight Corona.
Like, what the heck? He did? So imagine if you practice this to fight Corona. Obviously, we will fight it very well. All diseases will die. I mean, the bacteria will go inside this bath, they will stink, and they will be suffocated. If we don't kill them by the dead dog's smell, we will kill them by the women blood from period smell. If the women blood from period smell did not work, the stinky garbage, as the Hadith says, will fix it. So we have a three shot, and you cannot go through and you stay alive if you are a bacteria. Sorry. It is very powerful. Yes, yeah, Sabil Ahmed. Brother Sitar, today we are going to teach you how Prophet Muhammad, he taught us to eat the hygiene. And he, how he taught us to fight plague and kill corona. Like, what the heck? He did? <laughs> even, even their voices is very funny, you know? And every one of them, he have his own way of saying stupid things, you know? Brother Tiftar, they're the person, his name is the Christian Prince. And that guy, he keep lying about Prophet Muhammad. Hey, Zakir, how we lie? First of all, Prophet Muhammad, when he took sour with the dead dogs, did you ask yourself what kind of dogs they are? Yeah. What kind of dogs? Tiwawa. A very nice Tiwawa. The most expensive Tiwawa. Hey, Zakir Naik, dead Tiwawa, dead Dutch Chihuahua. Who cares? It's a dog. Christian Prince, they're very different. As an example, when you see a very rich person, he is holding Tiwawa in his hand. Can you explain that to me? Because he's an idiot. Exactly. So because he's an idiot, he is trying to tell you that in the idiot way we can fix things. Ah, that's deep. So we do idiot stuff. And exactly. So the prophet was out of the box. He is fixing things. And he is thinker. Uh -huh. As an example, there's a person named Tag Garu. And this guy, he speaks about meditation. Okay, what does this have to do with Muhammad now? We'll think about it. If you are sitting... And you are sitting with the dogs, and you have the, the blood of the women. And the, what was that? And you have the, the blood of the women. Okay, Zach and I, I can't understand anything and stop spitting at us. What you just said? And you have a blood of the women. And you are, okay, you are saying you have a blood of women from period? Exactly. And garbage. All of you, and you are focusing. So Allah is teaching us through the Prophet how to do yoga. Ooh, I never thought about it as yoga. It turned to be yoga. You know what? That's amazing. How to focus and not to be disturbed. This is what the Prophet was doing. Yoga. Garbage. The dogs. Women of blood from period. And a lot of flies and mosquitoes all over his nose. And still he is focusing. Mm. Guru Muhammad. Exactly. I get you about that. Oh boy. So excuse me, I'm going to do practice my yoga because I want to learn how to focus her. Uh, like Prophet Muhammad, he was so clean. Like, you know, this guy, his name is Osama Abdullah. He said, Christian Prince, the lie of Christian Prince, Prophet Muhammad was so clean. And we proved that even he used to clean himself from lies. Can you believe it? He make a video to get me busted. And the video, which is made by five of them, to get me busted, saying the Prophet was so clean, and he cleaned himself from lies. I mean, do you see how clean he is? I mean, the video is meant to, to get me busted. He could not get me busted in a, in a, in a, when he was talking to me, one-to-one. -one. He want to take revenge, so they make videos to respond. The Prophet was so clean, and the proof of that, he cleaned himself from lies. How you can beat that? You cannot. A prophet who clean himself from lies must be special. No other person do that. And even Muhammad, he claimed that Allah, he tests people by lies. So I will try to be tested by lies. You know, I heard that somebody can be tested by women, by money, but a person is tested by lies, how does that work? I 
how how you test somebody by lie by lies no and Muhammad he claimed that all prophets before him they have the same issues Allah he sent lies on them anyway we better we better finish here and as you see because we have a title people don't like we have a very little number compared to other days so we should not have a title like this for a long video I want to say thank you guys for being here I'm not going to play music please download the, the download the, the, the book share the Romanian book share the Indonesian share all the books you have in the link there download them don't share the link only because links can disappear they can be changed and then you will not be able to find the book so don't depend in the book which is posted by somebody drive download the book to your drive save it you can send it to your email you know it doesn't cost you any money and then one day you met somebody speak the language which maybe you don't even speak it you can share the book with him or with her and that will be a nice gift for free so i want to say thank you guys for being here and until we see you soon again i don't know if i'm going to survive this shower now with all those dead dogs and women blood from period you know i think i will be tested i think so i mean this is a test from allah i hope i hope i will be able to you know to survive this kind of testing which is really the best way to learn yoga all my life i'm against yoga but i think it's time for me now to practice yoga with dead dogs so i can learn the meaning of life and this is why they are dead they are life there's no point dead dogs very beautiful i'm very touched thank you and see you soon price is lord islam is a joke we laugh at it I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. The Quran has mentioned if this book was from other than God, they would have found in it many contradictions. If a book is without contradictions, that has no bearing on whether it comes from God or not. I've had phone books that are inerrant, but I certainly don't think God gave them. <laughs> that we believe without understanding. The brother asked a very, how can we have fun? Let me tell you, brother, at the outset, that having fun is permitted in Islam as long as the fun is halal fun. <laughs> that the standard narrative has holes. The prophet tells us because Satan or the devil sleeps over our nostrils. Those who oversleep and not pray Fajr on time, Satan urinates in their ears. I really do think Jesus was crucified <laughs> and that he really was dead and buried. He, he thought that he was a son of God in the sense that he was specially chosen by God. I think Jesus really did think he was going to be the Messiah, the future king of Israel. I mean, that is, after all, why they crucified him. <laughs>